Welcome, this is Anna e. Salas from TechTalkCafe.com and TechTalkCoop.com, our coaching site. And this is the um, preview free short version of Digital Dazzle, your strategic tech plan. You need to have a strategic tech plan if you're doing business online and you have a solo entrepreneur website. In my coaching program, we focus on the five key tech functional clusters that you will want to basically master so that you can comfortably either manage and run your website and your online business yourself or competently supervise the people who are helping you. So these are the five clusters that we work with in coaching. Domain name hosting, website, and SEO essentials are one cluster. Email, list building, landing page, autoresponders are a second cluster. Content creation and delivery, a third cluster. Marketing and sales and social media, a fourth cluster. And payment integration, joint ventures and affiliates are a fifth cluster. Now, I recommend that you begin to organize your development of your online business in this progressive manner. But as you go along, you will find that from time to time, you need to be able to move fluidly from your content creation and delivery back to some of your website issues, from marketing and sales back to your landing pages and autoresponders. And you'll need to move very comfortably in between these five key tech functional clusters. And that's what I work on when I coach you. Here's a simple mind map for you that gives you a sense of the relationships between these elements and then some of the supplemental pieces that come into play with a little bit more detail. And all of this is focused around your domain name and your website. So let's say that you have already chosen a domain name. The next step would be for you to choose the options that you want to pay in terms of any additional domain name fees. Um, you can have a domain name and it can just sit there and then you've paid for it and you don't do anything with it. So when you're ready to start your active website for commerce, then you'll need to choose a hosting plan, which you can pay for on a monthly or annual uh, payment basis. You'll need to uh, choose and pay for an add-on email plan some of your hosting sites will give you free email and some you can pay for. And that way you have an at.com name that matches your domain name, which is more professional. And that's coming through your domain name setup. You're going to need to decide on your website function. Is it a web store? Is it a platform function, a membership kind of platform? And you have those decisions to make and then you have to choose the software that's going to support whatever kind of website it is that you're wanting to build. You can create your, your site yourself when you're starting out and you can really create a wonderful site. Here are examples of different kinds of software platforms for setting up a blogging uh, oriented or simple commerce website that you can manage yourself with a little bit of time and energy. You can not have to hire a web designer. And you can use the money that you would pay for a web designer to spread out amongst your other costs that you're going to have to carry until your business takes off and you have lots of customers. And that can be quite expensive. When I first started out, by the time I put all of my pieces together, I was spending close to $150 a month and I didn't have anything quite yet to sell. So you need to plan for that ahead of time. There are add-ons and plugins once you decide on your website platform that you can incorporate into your internal functionality, leading uh, lead capture and sales pages and landing pages. Perhaps you want a newsletter, uh, content delivery in the form of downloads, content curation of articles, audio, video that you are not generating original video and audio sharing and downloading of your own content, and then any SEO support tools that you may want inside your website 
functionality for you to be able to boost your own um, traffic to your site. So I think it's really fun to do a little bit of research before you get started to go in and look at what your favorite websites are that you like to visit and to ask yourself, well, what do I like about these sites? And begin to see what the platform of the site is, what its functionality is, what the site theme options look like, what logo and color options are being used, uh, whether you can detect the plugins that are being used in this site, and whether there are external platforms, um, and where you're sent to join your email list. So take, a, take the time to come and switch yourself from the kind of client consumer point of view and begin to look at the producer sort of view when you look at your favorite website. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself, and I recommend that you make a list of questions regarding domain name options. What is the process of choosing a domain name? And I have a, a teleseminar that I have given that goes into much more detail in all of these topics, which once you're a member or a coaching client of mine, you have access to. So what are your questions about hosting options? Cost, ease of use, um, customer service, different kinds of bells and whistles that you're going to want to find out about your host. Your theme options, and then again your external software compatibility. A very common thing to use is a Facebook plugin. Well, you want to make sure that whatever website platform you're using is compatible with that and perhaps a video player or an audio player. Now you want to answer as many of these questions as you can through your own online research and reading and choosing to be well informed about the storefront you are ultimately going to create online. That's really your responsibility as a business owner. There is more information on this topic in terms of what your options are than you will ever have time to discover or read and that's okay. You need to find out what you need to know and you need to do it as quickly as your particular business timeline requires you to do. Or you can take a year to research all of this before you make your first step. But the one thing I recommend to people is if you have a unique domain name, buy it. It can just sit there and it won't cost you more than $15 or $20 at most. And then when you're ready to start your own online business, you won't go back to get that domain name and find that someone else has already taken it. Now over time, you'll begin to understand why this first functional cluster on the domain name and website and hosting and SEO is the foundation of a happy relationship with your ongoing or future website. And once you build a website, if you're not happy with it, you can make changes. You can choose times of the year when traffic is traditionally slow, depending on your particular business niche, and you can take a week or two and completely revamp your website and have it be down and if you plan this well, you're not likely to lose a lot of business and you would probably need help migrating from one site to another, but that's not hard to come by either. So that's basically what I wanted to talk to you about. I do have coaching opportunities available at this time. I am able to take on new clients. And one of the things that I will want to know from you is where are you now in terms of your progress? And the one thing I want to stress is that it's okay for you not to know what you don't know. And also that it's never too late to learn with, your, with support. And I know that you're a rock star in other areas of your life. That's, that's a given. And you're just coming in to learn something new. And like everything else, you've got to start at the beginning. I also want to stress that it is not too late to jump into this new paradigm of business now, especially as our economy continues to change and the making of hard goods is becoming less and less of an option because we really have overburdened the planet with all of our stuff and our stuff needs to become simplified and we need to be working on other ways of being in commerce with each other. You want to get your online business operating at the speed of light 
I've given you five key areas to focus on and it's all doable. So what I would really hope is we're coming into a new year is that you would be willing to kind of take a leap and not lose another year in uh, lost in tech translation when you could be building your business. So come and get your digital driver's license from me in four weeks and you'll be ready to rock and roll. So my Digital Dazzle Core training is a four week intensive um, with two follow up weeks of implementation and practice where you first of all craft your strategic tech plan that you need for your business. Then you begin to implement that plan doing it yourself and also bringing along any virtual assistant that you might want to start out with. You have coaching off and online from me. You can always come on to the website and look for information and I'll have resources for you to go and poke out and find out on your own. And you can get your tech on with comfort, con confidence and confidence. So um, the methodology that I use to share information is video and audio instruction. I also give each of my coaching clients in the D Digital Dazzle Core training their own private jigsaw box where you learn at your own pace. It's loaded up with all the uh, program elements that you need to do home study and then you do have in addition to one hour private coaching calls with me that can be recorded if you like. This lets you learn at your own pace but it also lets you take advantage of two group coaching calls within that four week intensive period and learning from other people's questions. There's a follow up forum and a membership where you can um, be part of the community and at a monthly cost and then you can always jump in, talk to other people, uh, see what I've loaded up, new web webinars, new audio information and um, new resources that I have researched and found for everyone to use and share. And then finally I do go into joint venture opportunities with uh, businesses that are a good fit for me and that is something that we can discuss at the end of your four week training and you can just kind of put that on the back burner until you're ready if you're ready to take that kind of step. So uh, tech coaching let me help you get your tech on. You stop by, you've taken a look at this particular shortened version of a webinar so you can see the kind of information that you're likely to gain working with me and I go, go into great detail. And my coaching clients have step-by-step -step video uh, of each particular core cluster that we work on that actually shows you how to do it, tells you how to do it and how to find out how to do it if I'm not working on exactly the same resources that you are. I encourage you to use this link to jump into the boot camp and there will be more information of course on this site with more details about what that involves in the course and also you can get started with our digital dazzle learner's permit package which is a package of three in-depth teleseminars that cover the first three essential uh, tech clusters that you really must master to be successful with your online business. Okay, that's it for me. Take care and get your tech on and let me help you do it. Bye.